You know, I'm I'm really not sure about this one. Kanye West Spank, JP Morgan Chase, has deplatformed him as a result of his anti-Semitic comments that he made earlier this week. Jewish people have gone through atrocities that no one in today's age will ever understand. And unfortunately, they continue to see violence towards them as a result of anti-Semitic values and beliefs that people hold. I am by no way or means condoning what Kanye West has said. Twitter as a platform where there is a level, a high level of influence because you have followers and you can influence people's thoughts and opinions, deplatformed Kanye as a result of the anti-Semitic comments that he made. A bank where you individually own or keep, store your money, take out loans, um, to deplatform him doesn't make a lot of sense to me and is, is somewhat scary. If the people that are running banks don't agree with abortion laws or same-sex marriage, does that mean that they can also close people's accounts? Remembering that where you store your value, your assets, your money is an individual choice and it's an individual experience and it's not something that influences the masses. It's a slippery slope to start policing access to banks based off of an individual's values and opinions. And in a country where freedom of speech is a basic human right, it's very interesting to see this transpire. Without sounding like I'm flogging a dead horse, this is where the world of decentralized finance in Web3 and you know crypto is so powerful because you can be your own bank and the values that you have and the opinions that you hold will not influence your access to your money and your assets. I'm really interested in what people think on this.